Hey, what's up you guys? How are you guys doing today? I wanted to try a different lip. I don't know if I love it. Today, <laughs> I like couldn't even handle like holding off until the end to show you guys, but I made this cardigan. Oh my God, this is like making me so hot. Here I am wearing this cardigan I made. I use the We Are Knitters Petite Wool in the color Marshmallow, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, come on. Like, are you not just getting the most pastel -y vibes? Sorry, I'm already low key sweating. We're gonna get through. I thought it would be really cool if I kind of showed you more of an in-depth process of how you can make a sweater like this. So I go over how to seam this area, how to pick up stitches around the sleeves. Honestly, it's super easy. I think if you know the basics, I think it's a really good product to do. And I wanted to do everything beginner for you guys. Right, there will be a pattern out. I just think it's so warm. It's so cute. It's everything my entire life needs. I was a little iffy because um, like this, like this is almost too cute. You know, it was like almost too cute for me. Sorry, it was almost too cute for me and I'm really glad that I I did it because it's amazing. Um, and I can't, I don't know why. It's going to be summer soon and I knitted this completely wool uh, cardigan, but like look at how cute I am. Kind of like the whole layout. It's pretty basic. I used like less than five balls and I still have like I still have so much left and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this like it's not really enough to do much if you guys have any ideas please let me know yeah so if you want to see the different steps that you need to do a simple cardigan like this let's get on with the video Okay, you need both six and eight millimeter circular needles. You're going to need a fabric needle as well. Don't forget it, it's very important. And then you're gonna need obviously scissors if you don't have them, I think you should probably get them right now. And then I used about five balls of 100 gram petite wool of We Are Knitters. Stitches that you are going to need. You need to know how to knit and purl to make stockinette and ribbing. You need to know how to cast on and off. Hopefully I'll be able to show you a mattress stitch and picking up stitches and then you also need to know how to knit flat and in the round. I'll have some video links in the description. Okay, first you have to knit a super long flat section which we're going to separate into three different parts. The two parts in the sides are going to be the front and the big piece is going to be the back. All you have to do is knit back and forth and then once you get to the first section you knit like one quarter way and then turn around. Okay, once you have all of those pieces, you're going to connect the tops using a mattress stitch and then you'll have the empty armholes which you will pick up stitches for and knit in the round. Then in the center area, you then pick up stitches and you create a collar. I really hope that was an information overload, but I know a lot of you guys are new knitters and I thought it would be really nice to kind of just show you a very basic cardigan that is one of the bases of all like the ones that I make currently. I definitely want to branch out and maybe try a raglan cardigan, but I my patience for those are very small. I forgot to mention that you also need to know how to knit together, but it's super simple. It's really, you're just knitting. You're literally knitting two together. Um, so it's not too bad and you only have to do it for the sleeves. While I was knitting this project, I really liked listening to audiobooks, and you know, I love using Chirp. I love to listen to audiobooks while I'm knitting because it just makes the time fly by, and I feel super productive because I can do two things at once. Chirp is an audiobook retailer that offers amazing limited time deals on audiobooks. There are hundreds of deals that you can choose from, up to 95%. Trip has an app. I just bought this book that was recommended in my Discord. A lot of people were saying it's really good, and so it's called Red, White, and Royal Blue and I'm so excited to try it out. It's only for a limited time. It's $3.99 USD. I have a promo code again, so if you use Tiffany5, you can get $5 off your first order in US and Canada. With my code, you could buy that book for free. You can find the link to the website and the promo code in my description below. Just wanna put a disclaimer, this isn't a exact tutorial showing you how many stitches and how many like things, like I'm not doing it step by step. I'm just telling you what you need to know, showing you the process process and showing you my process and how I got to making the pattern so hopefully I let y'all know what's happened so see you can see I'm doing the first panel then I got you 
I think I'm doing the third panel at this point. I honestly was really bad at filming this consistently because it honestly took me about a month to do for some reason because I was just so iffy about the length. I wasn't sure how long I wanted it. So you'll see here initially, I made it really cropped and I really got to the collar portion, but I had to unravel it all because it just wasn't long enough. And that's honestly my fault because I'm someone who likes to buy less yarn than more yarn just because I don't want to waste money on more, but also like why risk needing more, if that makes any sense. Like I, I've had to, uh, if you guys saw that trouser video, like I had to buy more yarn and it was a different color lot and it is one of the most devastating things, but I was able to do it under. I have extra yarn, don't know what to do with it. It's totally fine. It's going to be something amazing, hopefully. If not, it'll sit in my stash. Unraveling hurts my soul every time I have to do it, but it's really cool to think that you could just pick up a thread and unravel the sweater and just completely destroy it and like change it. That's why I love unraveling like pre-bought sweaters because I think it's just so cool to see something tangible and then just get it into like little balls of yarn. To start the second and the third panels, you're gonna wanna have to cut your yarn for the first panel and then start with the new yarn for your live stitches and then repeat. I just wanted to add this just in case you wanted to know kind of how to do it using a picture animation. So this is specifically for if you have two stock net pieces that you want to have like a line straight forward. So you're gonna wanna get your fabric needle and pull through into the center of the V, wrap around the outside of the V for the top one, and then go back into that same loop and out into the other, I don't know. It's so hard to explain, you really have to see it, but you're, you're just making like another stitch to connect the two separate stitches. Usually when I'm at the beginning and the end, I'll just connect the two pieces together just for extra security. Um, I wanted to add a live action kind of version. So yeah, you can see me finding the V, horribly, horribly showing this, um, going th through the outside. You see, beautiful, you pull. And then you're gonna wanna kind of find a upside down V and then wrap around that, if that makes any sense. I have no idea. Honestly, you should find a tutorial that tells you way better, but I just thought I might just incorporate it in here. Okay, once you have the top sections all um, mattress stitched up, you're gonna wanna pick up stitches for the armholes. So I don't know if I'm doing this right. This is kind of just what I liked to do, but I would find like these at the very end and kind of just needle my way through them with um, a free yarn. I usually um, I usually connect my yarn to kind of like a, a thread that's kind of hanging around the armholes because that usually happens and you kind of just find you just find a hole. <laughs> Lol. Sorry if those are so bad but I mean we love video. You can rewind and watch it again or find other videos that are way better. Sorry, I'm not very confident with my uh, tutorial ability, but yeah, so this is me just chilling and knitting. Yeah, I really did underestimate how warm the petite wool was going to be because you see this pastel color, you think, oh, it's it's not gonna be that warm, but holy moly. Like I could, I think I could wear this out like in the winter. Yeah, so if you wanna get this yarn, you can actually use my referral code. You can get 12 bucks off your purchase with the code that I have. Um, and it's in the description, everything's in the description if you need it. And like, I'm pretty sure We Are Knitters is having 20% off right now. They have some really good deals and free shipping over whatever i guess depending on your country i am waiting to buy more i just don't have the moolah i didn't do a haul but i actually bought more we are knitters um i got the bamboo and white and i think i think it was called the infina infinite yarn they're really tiny but i'm really 
into it. I got like the most natural colors because I'm really into white right now and I'm excited to do some more spring and summer items. I, yeah, like I don't know why I just knitted like the most, the hottest thing ever, but um, hopefully I can make like tanks and cute little tops, but I have to be more confident because I don't really know how to start one. If you guys saw my stream, you know that I was struggling with lace. Um, but turns out I had just missed one knit and it totally disrupted the entire row. And I, I get it. It makes sense to me now. And it didn't before because it, it just wasn't adding up. And I think that's what's so hard about lace is that you have to really be paying attention to every single thing that you're doing because everything matters. And so that's what I got the Infina or whatever that yarn for because I want to really, I want to try and make like a cute little lace vest or something. I think that would be such a look for like, oh, summer. But then it's also wool. I don't know. I don't know what my mind was thinking. But yeah, if you guys have any other recommendations for weird knitters, I mean, I hear that people don't necessarily love it so much because it is so expensive, but I mean, just for the aesthetic reasons, I would probably buy it. And they have sales quite often, so um, definitely looking into cheaper yarns, but also, you know, your girl loves Petite Knit and she has the partnership with Sun It's Garn and I have spiraled and I want to buy all of it. like. And like Philicolana, I'm really interested in trying out, but I can't get that anywhere in Canada for some reason, which kills my soul. I don't know why it's so difficult to get yarn here. Like I have to, I have to buy something from Victoria and the shipping is going to cost me money unless I pay over like $150. But I told myself I was gonna go on a yarn diet, so we're trying to do, we're trying to be that. I think right now I'm only buying yarn if I'm, I run out, like say I'm doing a project and I run out, or I require some sort of like mohair or like a second thread. So not starting any more projects. Oh my goodness, but we also discussed after the share square in July, we were going to do a knit along on the Twitch streams. We're gonna be doing the petite knit um, summer shirt. The anchor summer shirt i think yeah and i'm really excited for that so loki have to break the yarn diet but i think that'd be so cute if we like all matched and like all had the shirt together i think would look so cute changing aside this is like so easy to make i think it would look good on anyone and it's oh oh here you have it i'm just kind of showing you where you pick along from it's super simple and i i thought I thought it would be hard when I was first doing cardigans, but I mean, like, look at her. Look at her magnificence. Like, I, I, I can't even imagine myself wearing pink, but I guess that's what I'm gonna be doing now. Especially, oh, in the winter time, I think. It's just a, such a cute pop of color in such a dull, like, dull season. I didn't forget the try on. I wanted to see if it would look good with like white and jeans, had a little vibe. Sorry, my hair is such a mess in the back because I shaved the bottom of it a long time ago and now I have like a reverse mullet, which is always the funnest thing to have. I wanted to try it with this skirt. Sorry, it's super wrinkly. I had it, got it from American Apparel and I was in love with it ever since in high school and I can't seem to get rid of it. So uh, I wanted to do this and I thought I looked amazing. <laughs> I'm not in love with the red lip with it, but can't undo that. Let me know what you guys think. The pattern will be up hopefully soon. I'm still working on the tank, so please bear with me. I'm so sorry everything has been really slow, but um, <laughs> I'm doing full-time school, so it's a little hectic for me right now. So if you want to stay notified to know when I'm posting, I post every Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, to let me know what you guys are thinking. And yeah, you can find me. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Discord. I stream every Thursdays and Sundays. I hope to see you guys soon.